So let's use a financial. I know you came for the male perspective, but I'm going to give you a little finance on the side and it's free. Suppose you buy a stock for $50, okay? Now, this, this, this is what happened for those of you who remember the tech boom in the late 90s. You buy a stock for $50 and all of a sudden all the, all the earnings are going out the roof or there's a lot of speculation or there's a lot of frenzied buying. Then the stock goes to $75 and boy, you're excited. Then the stock goes to $100 and you are really excited. You're like, wow, I doubled my money. But all of a sudden, analysts on Wall Street start examining that company and they realize, like they did with the tech boom, that it has no earnings. Then all of a sudden from 100 it goes to 60. And you say, well, that's okay, no big deal. At least, you know, I'm still up 10 bucks. But then all of a sudden it goes to 40. Now you're down 10 bucks per share. And what's worse is, this is important, the business profile is changing. In other words, the future prospects are deteriorating. The future prospects are deteriorating. But you're saying to yourself, well, I bought it at 50, so if I, if I liked it at 50, I got to love it at 40. But then the business environment continues to deteriorate. Now it's at $25 a share. But you're thinking, well, I remember like a few months ago, it, it traded at 75. And I remember just a few months after, before that, it traded at 100. And what happens, instead of selling the stock and taking that money and investing it in something that has a good growth prospect, you cling on to it. You cling on to those shares, reminiscing about the good old days. <laughs> the good old days when you saw a trade at 75 and you'd watch the stock tickers and you tell people and you pretend how smart you were and you know, you ought to invest in this company. Right? And then, <laughs> Then it was 100 and you're, you got really excited. You keep clinging on to the good old days. One problem, the good old days are over. Like I like to say, after the sweet is gone, stop chewing on the gum. But you know why you don't sell it? Because to sell it is to acknowledge you made a mistake. As long as you don't sell it, you know, the good old days might come back. I know he's not making, I mean, the company's not making any money. <laughs> I know the prospects of change, but you keep clinging on instead of selling it. Taking your losses and investing in something that has growth potential.